Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello guys We are from 8th group We'll be presenting about Transformational Generative Grammar Deep and Surface Structure My name is Julian Aval Nafis We'll present it about What is Transformational Generative Grammar? When interpreted in Indonesian is transformational generative grammar, it is a language analysis system that recognizes the relationships between various sentence elements and between several senses of a language and uses a process of rules to express the relationships, some of which are called transformations. GTG theory means how to process correct and good sentences made or form. Generative first occurs and then transformational occurs. There are two main parts of this theory, namely generation or generative grammar, transformation or transformational grammar. The first is generation or generative grammar. It's a generative frontier perspective to produce one to produce because of our mental grammar or our mental grammar when we speak or write we produce new numerical sentence two to determine to determine rules generative grammar describes our mental grammar by setting rules or making linguistic rules hidden in our heads this has two ways the first is to draw three diagrams or three diagrams the second is to state the phrase structure rules Phrases are in the form of rewrite rules on example of which can be seen on the screen. Three important linguistic principles or means three important principles in linguistic mental grammar or linguistic competence in our mind. There is also the first principle proposed by Chomsky is first language is a mental fact or mental fact language is nature in the sense that every human child is endowed with an LAD or language acquisition device 3 language is creative linguistic creativity or linguistic creativity means crossing the boundaries or boundary of linguistic rules rules of generation or generative grammar are the rules of generation or generative grammar we know that the basic structure of, sen- of a sentence consists of a noun phrase and verb phrase. Rule 2 A noun phrase usually consists of a noun and an article, or a noun only, or it may consist of a noun and an article and an adjective. Rule 3 A verb phrase usually consists of a verb and a prepositional phrase or an auxiliary verb and a verb or it can consist of a verb and adverbs. Then the second part of the GTG material this time is transformation or transformational grammar which means transformation or transformational grammar. There is transformation rules or transformational rules. The first is adjunction, which means adjunction is a process in which one constituent is attached to another constituent to form a larger constituent of the same type. The second is substitution, meaning that substitution or substitution is a technique used to determine an expression that can be substituted by using another expression in such a phrase or sentence where it occurs by another expression and the last one is deletion which means relations there are five types of deletion namely first non phrase deletion in the non phrase deletion the constituent that is deleted is the vertical b connecting verbs occur along with the deletion of the non phrase the deletion of a connecting verb can be thought of as deletion so that the deletion transformation occurs in the present tense. Second, verb phrase deletion. The constituent that has been deleted is the verb phrase 
The removal of a verb phrase is also called the removal of an identical verb phrase. And the third, linking verb deletion. In the deletion of linking verbs, the constituent that is deleted is the verbal be. Linking verbs occur together with deletion of non phrases. Deletion of linking verbs can be considered as deletion. The deletion transformation of be occurs in the present tense. For imperative deletion, it is called imperative deletion because it removes the non phrase. In the fifth, deletion under identity. Under identity removal, for example, Ellsberg was arrested by FBI and Fonda was too. This sentence seem to consist of one complete sentence followed by a conjunction and followed by what we might call an elliptical sentence. And next, presented by Wardah Kinarti. Okay, I will continue the presentation. My name is Wardah Kinarti and now I will explain about linguistic competence and linguistic performance. Generative grammar is founded on the idea that linguistics should create a grammar that allow us to generate every possible sentence it in a language using a set of rules. It is simply an abstract theory that allows us to make a list of all sentences. Given the time to do so, which would be infinite, there are infinitely many possible sentences. With strict like recursion, it is in theory possible to design such as grammar, although so far no perfect grammar for any language has actually been written. And in theory, such as grammar also exists in our heads as linguistic competence, while something else explain how we actually use it to speak, an action called linguistic performance, and that can be imperfect with a speech error and the other. A tree diagram. A tree diagram so the hierarchical structure of the sentence. The sentence is considered the basic of the syntactic system instead of the beginning with actual sentence. However, we begin with the directions for generating or producing structural description of sentence, which are set forth in pre-structure rules. The rules should be interpreted as an instruction to rewrite or expand the symbol or the left of the arrow as the sequence of the right. In S or sentence which contain NP or non praise and VP or verb praise. This is the way to draw a tree diagram. It is defined as a way of representing a sentence with a structure. The structure is drawn in the shape of three having branches. This type of tree diagram representation contains all grammatical information found in the other analysis but also so more explicitly the fact that there are different levels in the analysis. For the example, is there. Then I will explain about deep structure. In transformational and generative grammar, deep structure also known as the deep grammar or a D structure is the underlying syntactic structure or level of the sentence. In contrast to surface structure, the outward form of the sentence, the structure is an abstract representation that identifies the way a sentence can be analyzed and interpreted. The structure are generated by pre-structure rules, and surface structure are derived from deep structure by a series of transformation. The other meaning of deep structure, or we also can call it as the function of the deep structure, is the output of pre-structure rules. We cannot have the deep structure if we don't have pre-structure rules. Then, deep structure is the input of the transformation rules. We can apply transformation rules if we have deep structure. Then, deep structure is the level of grammar, which can explain adequately the concept of subject, direct object, and indirect object. Then, deep structure is the level where we can apply selectional restriction rules. Rules that restrict the selection of lexicon in a sentence. And then, the structure is the level which can solve the problem of ambiguity. The properties of deep structure 1. Major grammatical relations such as subject of and object of are defined at deep structure. 2. All lexical insertion occurs at deep structure. 3. All transformation occur after deep structure. And the last, semantic interpretation occurs at deep structure. Then I will explain about surface structure. A surface structure is the formal structure of the sentence as it actually occurs in speech. It is the apparent structure of 
a sentence. In the transformative alternative grammar developed by Anon Chomsky, the structure of a grammatical sentence as it actually occurs in speech or writing, as opposed its to underlying deep structure or abstract logical form. In Chomsky theory, the surface structure of a sentence is generated from the deep structure by a series of transformative rules involving the addition, deletion, or reordering of the sentence element. Psycholinguistic have investigated whether and to what extent this may serve as a model for the cognitive processes involved in forming and interpreting sentence. Okay, the next presentation will be continued by Felicia Amanda Putri. This is the brain structure rules. The concept of deep structure and surface structure. Before I explain about concept of surface structure and deep structure, let me take an example to understand the difference between surface structure and deep structure. One, I ate a banana. Two, a banana was eaten by me. In this example, one is active voice and two is passive voice. Structure of the sentence are different but the meaning are same. In the above example, there are two surface structure but one deep structure or underlying meaning. It means that a sentence can have two or many surface structure but one deep structure. Now, take another example. The woman beat a man with an umbrella. What we read is surface structure of the sentence. But when we powder on its meaning, we feel ambiguity in getting its meaning. Whether it means that the woman is having an umbrella and she is beating the man with it, or that the woman is beating the man who is having an umbrella. This ambiguity leads to two different meanings of one sentence. It means that a sentence can have surface structure but more deep structure. Here are some easy examples about deep structure where you can understand this Naum Komsky generative grammar. Example 1 The strong wine to place trees. 2 The wine was very strong, filled trees. 3 The wine was very strong, it to place trees. We can see above sentence and see these three sequences exactly the same. It is stated therein that the wine was very strong, and very strong points that down trees. They are therefore identical deep or latent structure. We can see the deep structure supports or contains the meaning of the sentence. The surface structure is the manner in which information the present being said or written. Example 2. Let's see how they work. 1. The blow broke his leg. 2. The cow which was strong, he broke his legs. 3. The blow was strong, he broke his leg. As can be seen, all three statements are saying the same. The information transmit mentioned that there was a strong blow and that blow someone broke the leg. Therefore, it can be said that the three examples have the same deep or surface structure. However, these testaments have different words. The words that, for example, only appears in the second example. First, unlike the other two, not include the words was. Okay guys, that is all of our presentation. Thank you for watching this. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.